on to the Mike's Custom Garage. So this week we're starting on the inside of the floor. I've uh, cleaned up around the edge. Uh, basically took a torch, heated up the seam sealer or undercoating or whatever this stuff is they have here and uh, melted it out a little bit, scraped it out with a scraper. What I gotta do, I've stuck the pedals in about where they're gonna need to go. I need to sure I have enough room on the side for my foot to obviously be there. I need to be able to remove everything below the steering column and seal the steering column in. So how am I gonna do that right now? I just don't know. But it's gonna need to be sealed up somehow so that I can get keep it watertight and still use everything. So we're gonna start on the passenger side first. Work our way around and try to figure this out step by step. Okay, here's what I have for the passenger side, starting up on the firewall. Put the three quarter inch square tubing up, down, around, and back up to the top of the shifting tunnel. For now, we're gonna tack this in, then we'll work our way over to the other side because the steering column is gonna be a challenge on how I'm gonna get around all that. So I still gotta figure that out. Okay, so I've made a frame. It's going down here. It's all welded together now, up to there. Now what I've done, I took a piece of 18 gauge steel and I bent this so that it'll fit up under here and around the steering column and up against the back of the firewall. Now that'll be that piece of it. What I'll do now is put a side up to go from here across underneath somewhere. And that'll be enough to keep the engine separate from the, co from the cockpit. I, I gotta bring the hole punch home tomorrow from work so I can put some holes in there and then I'll weld that up to that. And We'll just keep building with this up here and in place. It gives me some room underneath and I can bring everything down from there, down towards the floor. But that's the first piece. Uh, all my electrical heater ducts, whatever I end up using, will end up fitting between here and here. So there's not a lot of room. There's not gonna be a lot there for sure, but we're gonna make something work. Here's the panel that's gonna go under the dash and seal the top above the engine down to the bottom of the bottom of the dashboard. What I've done is put a bunch of holes in it for welding. Put holes in the bottom. I cut a piece of the three quarter inch square stock and I'm gonna weld this to the bottom here to make this solid and strong. I'm gonna weld that up into the car and they'll make braces from there. Nothing easier than welding brand new metal. But there's the front, I'm gonna grind it off flat and then I'm going to put it in the car and see where this is all gonna fit.
Okay, what we gotta do now is clean up this edge here so we can weld onto it. So we get all that cleaned up. And then we'll come back. Now that I got this edge ground down on top here, I'm gonna lay this up and see if we fit okay. Find a hammer and give this thing a couple hits. Weld a, put a weld up here. Let's see if I get a weld on the end over here. Okay, so I got to tack on this side. I got to tack in the center. That one's going to tap here. Okay, now this piece is welded in. I want it to be up like this. Okay, so we got the bar going from here. Let me show you. Okay, put the bar from here, going to that bar, going up the floor. So that's gonna stiffen this up, and make this nice and tight. Flat with a little tack on the bottom. That's enough to hold it. You have to attack right here.
That's going to hold this flat to there. It's going to be a nice seal. Then, I'll pull it down just a little. I'll pull this up either way. Let me put a stack on that. Okay, that's solid on this side. Now we'll take a look at the other side. See what we gotta do over there. What I've done on this side is made another frame. Started there, went there, goes up between the steering column and the pedals, about evenly as best I could. I've tacked it together. I'm going to pull it out, weld it all the way around, make it one piece, and then I'm going to put it back in. And that should get this go. You see where I cut too much of the firewall out, and I want to put some of it back. So after this is all done, I'll fill in the, the gap I have between here and here. And I'll fill that in all the way down. And that gives me room for my pedal to run along the side of it. And trust me, it's still tight, but it'll give me enough room for the engine to be clear of it. So what I'm going to do now is pull this back out, get it welded up, and then we'll put it back in. So the piece is all welded up. There you go. So we're going to stick it up in. And hopefully it still fits. I had it marked on the, uh, the back side exactly where it went. It goes to the edge here and down here. And I, mar I made another bar go up to the top of the, the uh, tunnel. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make all the metal underneath it come up to it. So I'll probably do that once I pick the body back off for the last time. I hope the last time anyway. But for now, we're going to tack this in place so it can't move. Then we can try to figure it out where the bar from here needs to be so that the, uh, the upper support is nice and tight. I okay, stuck a bar in underneath the steering column and across and over. So That should be fine. That goes up inside. I'll weld it on each end. And that should secure that top plate in nice and solid. So the frame's all in. I got a support brace here to help make sure this stays nice and straight. This is holding up the steering column some uh, all the way across and down the other side and back up. Now what I'm going to do is start making the metal on the inside. Uh, I'm going to bolt it on, but I'm going to weld it together. What I'm going to do this is the first piece. It's going to go like that. I'm going to make another piece this way, come down to here and up, and then I'm going to weld them together. I was going to try to make a template and make it a one-piece deal. Way too many curves in there, way too complex. So we're going to do it slow like this, and we're going to make it fit. And we'll be fine. I'm going to have the centerpiece in. I sat and thought for a long time, made a few templates, they were fails. So what I ended up doing is I took a piece of quarter inch round rod and I bent it so that it fits from the firewall here around. Let's see if we can get it. Okay, from the firewall around to there. 
and that clears the exhaust like I need it to. Then uh, I took that, I transferred the length onto a piece of sheet metal, and I came up with this. So let's see if I can get this thing to get not blurry. This will go in. Whoops. We'll screw into the back here, and then. I marked it here and here. Like I say, it's not straight. I'll make that, I'll fix that later. And that'll give me a nice round edge as the first piece. Okay, now with that put piece tacked in, and all I got is two tacks here and here, and I got a clamp in the back holding it. That's gonna, next piece I, ma I made for it is this angle right here. And that goes in, and that will seal up that piece there. Now, like I said, this is just pieces one at a time. I'll put them together, tack them together, then I'll take the whole thing out in one piece, and I'll weld it. So this piece here we're gonna put in, and we're gonna put a tack right here. Once this is all together, we'll dress it up nice, and it looks like one piece. Now, the next piece I made was to fill in that little corner. So that's this piece here. Looks like I need to trim it just a touch. I got it fitting tighter up here than I ever had earlier, so. If I can get it in there. Okay, now I have that piece tacked in. I can see it's not perfect, doesn't need to be. Okay, we'll fill it all in later. We'll fill in the edge here. I'll put another piece in there, and then I'll fill in this section. The next thing I want to do come down. So I'm going to cut this piece here to come down and come across to whatever, but it's got to go down that far anyhow. I'd actually like it to go from this corner to there. So there would be some trimming to do. So we'll start by giving it an angle right here to go along the bottom. So I'm gonna go over to my brake, I'll make a bend and I'll come back. So I put, a, I put a little bend in the piece of metal and then I fit it up behind this and as far as if I can get the push, from there I marked my corner where I want that to go. And I marked it across here. I'm gonna cut that and then I'm gonna slap it a little further and then cut it again. And that should give me a piece I can tack together. So I cut that piece to fit and I pretty much just tacked it in the bottom. A couple tacks in here. Now that's pretty good. So we're gonna go on to the next. So everything's tight here. So I'll eventually get bolts in here. That'll hold it down. Uh, next, we'll put one from this corner up and over, and we'll get that tacked in. So step by step, we're building a firewall. Okay, now we have that piece tacked in. And as you can see, these things don't fit perfect, but we're just scabbing together the pieces that we have. The next piece is going to go around like this, and I'm gonna tack that one in. Then I'm gonna have to put a piece in on top and a piece on the bottom. And this side will be pretty close. So then we'll do some trimming. We'll make nice edges on everything so everything's gonna fit nice. 
and this piece should be able to slide out if needed to be and worked on. So we're gonna tr keep trimming this piece, make this piece down here fit a little better. And then we're gonna move on to the little pieces and then we'll come back. So I also made this bottom piece and this piece now. So what I have to do is fill in some of the smaller gaps along the way. I gotta cut this still and trim this flat and then put a piece along the edge of here so that I can bolt this to this. And this will bolt up here and here. Hopefully I can take this thing out in one piece. That'd be the goal. So we're gonna put a couple, make a couple more patches, gonna tack a couple more things together. See if we can get things to fit a little nicer, like down there. Might just have to weld up the hole, not a big deal. And this side will be done. So I got a hole up here to fill in. I'm just gonna weld that up solid. And uh, we'll put some pieces in here and there. And the same thing on the bottom. There's a couple spots here. We're gonna need to put some metal in there. Across the bottom there. And then this piece should be done. So we'll see. So there you have it. It's been probably a few minutes in your time, but it's been two hours in my time to get that much, half of it done. Now it's still, it's not finished. There's still a lot of little edges still to clean up and fix up. Uh, you know, along the edge here and the back there and the bottom. Got to weld all these pieces. Going to uh, cut and butt things together. Make sure everything fits nice and tight. I weld it on this side. I'll take it out and I weld it on the back side. Make sure it's a 100% one solid piece. Hopefully, I can take it out like this. We will see. If not, I guess we'll have to make a cut in it somewhere so it does come out. So today, I welded in this top piece and this piece onto the frame. I made this piece with an arc in it to give me more pedal room. So it's got a nice arc in here. It's still far enough away from the motor. It'll be fine. And then now I'm making this piece, which goes to there. I gotta make a round piece here. That'll, I'll cut that and make that fit there. And then we'll have one piece left. So we'll make something to go in there. Maybe a couple pieces, not even sure, but you know, we'll figure it out. So it's coming together. We've got enough room for pedals and that's what we're looking to do. So it's progress. So I've put the next piece in, it's just tacked in. I'll grind off the edges here to make it fit perfectly. And then we'll put a couple tack welds on that. The next piece I made was this little corner angle. That, that ties in both sides now. All I got left now is a center piece to put in and this side will be done. What I did next to make the transition in the corner better, is I grabbed a pair of channel locks and just bent this edge around a little bit. Just gave it a nice little bend all the way down till about here. Actually, I'll bring it right down to wherever. Done. Now it's got a, the angle here is going to be common with the angle here. And it should be a little easier to make a piece to fit in there now. So the final piece, well actually there's probably one more piece to put in, right up there. And this has got to come out, get cut flatter, or flat or something, let's cut it off. Okay, so this is the last piece I put in. Uh, I gave it some relief here and here. Uh, that was just because I wanted to bend around and really didn't want to go. I put a, a crease in it there to line up with these creases here. So this gives me a little more room to get my leg in here. So I so, yeah, my leg in here. And the pedal should be about here. So 
I should be all right with that. That's plenty out of the way. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to weld this thing up. We'll weld it. We'll relief cut. We'll do what we need to. We'll take this piece out after I get enough tacks in it where I know it ain't going to move. And we'll weld this thing up solid. So both sides are here. Let me get a shot from the back. There we go. There's a really rough tunnel right now, but we definitely got, we know where we're going with it now. So we'll put everything together. The center will get welded solid. Or maybe just, I take that back. The center's gonna get bolted in. And then the sides are gonna bolt on to the center and around. And that should give us all that we need. So it's late tonight. We're going to, I don't want to do any welding now and then have to worry about fire overnight. So we'll cut this short here and then tomorrow we'll go back to welding. Okay. So this piece is what made, I cut the tack on top off. So now it's loose. Hopefully, well, I got one more tack there. I got to cut off. And hopefully we can take this thing right out and then finish welding it up. this over on the bench and we can finish welding it over here so there you go that's the first half I'm gonna weld this all together nice and put it back in So we cut and butt all the joints, tacked them back together, got everything about where we want it. See, now it looks pretty good. Had to trim off a little bit on top. It wasn't quite fitting good once it got put in right. Uh, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill some holes and screw this thing on tight. And then I'm gonna weld it all solid. And then we're gonna go back and touch up anything that we're missing. But for now, we're going to weld this up. I'm going to screw it on so it can't move. And then we'll move on to the outside. So I put the firewall back in. I screwed it on the corners, on top, and there. So now it'll stay in place where I want it. So now I'm going to weld up my seams. And we'll get this piece done. And then we got a few pieces to add. I got a piece back here to add. I got a piece under there to add. And but then we got, I'm gonna put a, a band across the front, right along here, make it nice and straight all the way up. Then I'll be able to screw into here. And I'm gonna put some uh, rib nuts, or they call them nut certs also. Uh, I can put those in. And then this will be able to be bolted on, taken on and off as needed. And just like that, one-handed. That half of the, the uh, engine cover is ready. Say... So, that fits in there pretty good. We'll put screw some bolts in there and we'll seal it up so it's watertight. And that side is done. Now we're gonna jump on the other side and do the same thing.
Okay, so we got the passenger side engine cover out. Uh, as you can see, it's got a whole bunch of patches. We're going to do the same thing we did on the other side. Going to trim off all the excess. Going to cut and butt everything so everything fits nice and tight together. Fit it back in the car. Make sure everything's going to fit nice. And then we'll do final welding. We're going to put you on time lapse. We're going to buzz right on through this. Get this thing done quickly for you. So both sides are welded up. Uh, the other side I weld it, ground it, put some primer on it. There's one spot I still need to put a little piece in uh, to make that straight going up. So I'll still do that. I got a piece in here to, to do. And that will button up the firewall from that side. See, in here, I got a piece to put in here. When I take the body back up and off, I can put that in. We'll make sure everything's fit. And we got some spots still uh, to finish up here. Little little spots that need to get welded. And we're going to try to get that done. Before this video comes out, we'll see how far we can get on it. But yeah, it's coming along. I mean, it's all, it's all sealed from the backside. So that's what I wanted. And it's accessible. I'll be able to, I'm gonna drill, drill this out and put some nut, nuts and bolts in here so that this can be accessible from the inside of the car at all times. Hopefully it's not too big where, that can get, where it's in the way of the seats, but we'll find that out, won't we? I'd rather take a seat out and have to take to work on the engine versus taking the whole body off to work on an engine. So we're going to get off to these last few pieces on here and get this thing buttoned up so we can start talking about paint. Oh yeah, I got spots in there to put in too. Got to put all that in on the corners. So we still got a few things left to do. Well, we'll get her done. So my engine cover is here. It's done. I got it in primer. I uh, fixed the other lines so both lines are straight. Uh, we're going to wrap this video up here. Uh, we got a few more things to do. We'll get next week we'll get the, the body mount finished. We'll get the the holes in the firewall finished up and buttoned up. Everything up here finished. And we're going to start getting this thing ready for some paint. Uh, that way that we can get this thing together, get it jammed, get it painted. I'd like to see this thing painted by before the end of the year. We'll see what happens. Uh, again, I'd like to thank uh, all of the new subscribers. Really appreciate it. Please hit the like button. It definitely helps the channel out. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, hit the notifications button. Leave me a comment. I appreciate it. I read them all. And I answer all of them when I can. Uh, and next week we'll try to get all of this buttoned up and have it ready for paint. And I'd like to get back on the Mustang and get some of that put together. Again, thank you. And we'll catch you on the next one.